hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my, my another video and in this video we are going to talk about uh, nest.js with the fastify or the express because nest.js provides these two adapters in which you can write your application you can use express adapter or you can use fastify adapter i mean from the nest.js perspective there is no major change either you use uh, fastify options or express options a little bit of configurations will change when you are starting the application otherwise it's going to be uh, same as what we are doing so i mean uh, there is a there is a misconception that fastify is way more faster i mean yes obviously it is little faster when we when we benchmark express uh, nestjs express nestjs fastify or the fastify so there are four variants we can see we can use a fastify independently without without nestjs express independently or nest.js with express nest.js with the fastify and then when we try to benchmark fastify independently is little faster and fastify with the nest.js also is little faster so, so sometimes we wanted to just uh, use fastify then we can just use it here you can see we are using nest.js nest factory dot create and app module and here instead of uh, creating express adapter we are using new fastify adapter so that's the, the change which we have to make uh, and we are just passing the new fastify adapter and the rest all the things will be similar uh, there are few things which will change like the fastify logging options how we are redirecting like uh, all the middlewares all the remaining concepts of auth guard middleware all the building blocks of nestjs are going to be the same let's talk about fastify independently because this is a node.js framework for building the apis and uh, same as express so here we are doing a quick comparison of express and fastify so this is how we create express app require express and then, then just app.lation to the port and that's it when it comes to fastify it's also kind of a similar here we are requiring fastify logging through and fastify.get put post delete because fastify itself is giving you the router so you can just do fastify get put post uh, patch or delete and then fastify.lation to a particular port and uh, this is same as like what we are doing with express in express we are creating app instance from the express and then we have a middleware and plugin that's little different than how we do in the express that's always a uh, different either you talk about the happy js kua how we are doing the middleware so this is how we do middleware in the express express equal to require express you get the app instance and then app dot use middleware one middleware function which takes three argument request response next app dot use middleware two app dot use middleware three so this is pretty much we are doing earlier now if you want to do the same thing in the fastify so these are like a, you you are going to register though them as a plugin so login plugin and instance option next so it is going to add a hook like these middlewares are actually a hook on the request do you want to execute that middleware on the request or on the response so there is explicit uh, declaration in the fastify that you can add that on the own request or on response here we are adding a hook which is nothing but a middleware and then register those on the fastify instance that's it so these are like ind independent functions and then you register them request response uh, validations here you can see uh, with the express we always use uh, joey class validator uh, or some other library to validate the payload in the fastify it comes with the validation inbuilt that means we are not using any external library to validate our payload we are just specifying a user schema okay this is the the structure of my object with these many properties and these are the required uh, properties you just pass it that's it you don't need to use any external library with the fastify so we are not using express validator joey class validator and all now another thing is i think we can talk about the uh, how we are doing error handling in express or class uh, express or fastify so I mean, uh, in both the cases, we always create a middleware like in app dot use. If there is any error occurred, then we can create a fallback error middleware that will take care of all the error. 
So Express has a massive community of developers due to its long standing popularity because I'm hearing Express framework since last maybe six to seven years more than that. And the first if I just uh, I'm, I'm able to, I was hearing this uh, since couple of years. But NestJS provides you both the adapters. So if you want to use a Fastify, uh, plug it Fastify adapter with the NestJS, then you can use that. Or you can stay with Express because both are the same. There is no major difference if you are using Fastify. You are going to have a rocket science performance. It's not like that. There is only a major difference is when you are getting a millions of the request per second. So this is how we are adding a Fastify adapter. A nest factory dot create and this is we are getting from the platform fastify so either we create a, add a module platform express or either we add a module platform fastify and then you can just uh, start your application rest all the things are going to be the same you will create a modules controller services uh, providers all the other things are going to be the same so this is the major difference which we are going to do by adding this uh, adapter okay so it's all about what you choose what you want if you want to add some additional performance advantage you can use fastify 